Now let's discuss what makes a conventional antipsychotic conventional. These are sometimes also called as classical, typical or first generation antipsychotics. The first antipsychotic chlorpromazine was famously discovered by accident in the 1950s when it was used for its antihistaminic properties. It was serendipitously observed to have antipsychotic effects also. Chlorpromazine and other antipsychotic agents of the time were all found to cause neurolepsis, which was an extreme form of slowness or absence of motor movements as well as behavioral indifference in experimental animals. And thus these drugs were sometimes called neuroleptics. The human counterpart of neurolepsis is also characterized by psychomotor slowing, emotional quietening and affective indifference.